All right, today is uh, September 24th, 2018. It's a Monday afternoon. And I was just going to do a quick video about guide coat. So just a disclaimer is uh, I don't really do this stuff for a living. I just kind of do it on the side. I build a few, I build cars and then I turn around and sell them. And the cars that I've built have sold, you know, relatively easy, so I have a pretty good idea of what it takes to get a decent quality paint job at home. So yesterday we got this thing in 2K primer. The reason why it's 2K is it's two part. You mix paint plus hardener and if you don't mix it, if you just spray paint, then it doesn't it won't ever dry. So the hardener is also called an activator, a catalyst or a hardener and that's the drying agent's chemical reaction that uh, makes the primer dry. So right now this thing is in 2K primer, fresh out the gun, and uh, this guide coat. So what the car needs right now is the, is the entire car needs to be block sanded. Um, you don't want to use a DA. We used a DA yesterday to get the old material off or to knock it down to give something for this primer to, to bite onto. Um, you can DA the whole car again if you want but the overall finish is going to result in a lot of waves on the car. You want your car straight, flat, so you have a good mirror reflection on the overall finish. Especially on a long car like this. I mean, this thing is like 18 feet long once it's done. It's long and flat. And the last thing you want is a wavy paint job or with ripples showing you know, poor body work. You can tell right away what car was DA'd and what car was hand blocked. Um, so it's a pretty long process. What I'm going to do now first is we're going to block this car down with one uh, a grit, maybe, maybe 220 by hand, and then I'm going to reprimer it, and then we'll block it down again with 400 by hand, and then maybe 600 wet before it's ready for paint. So that's three three times blocking the car before it's ready for any color. So if you were to go to a body shop, they're gonna, of course, charge you by the hour, probably $100 an hour, I don't even know the going rate. So as you can see, you know, blocking the car, it can take hours and hours, and that's where you get into thousands of dollars in a paint job or more. Um, I think blocking a car is pretty easy. It's labor intensive, there's nothing really I, mean, I hate to say it, lack of a better word, isn't really smart involved. It's just getting a feel for the for the surface. Um, so right now, I mean, it's kind of hard to capture in the pictures, but you know, the car. Some people say, "Oh, it's primed, ready for paint." Yeah, you get a lot of that on Craigslist. Primer ready for paint makes you sound like you can just buy the car, and uh, we're just going to spray some color on it just like that. Uh, very rarely is a car in primer ready for paint. Um, if it's in primer ready for paint, then the person should probably go ahead and spend the extra couple hundred dollars and paint the car. And uh, it'd be a lot better to sell, sell a lot quicker. Anyways, that's another story. So the guide coat, it's just a black powdery, really fine. Reminds me of kind of like some kind of forensic, forensic fingerprinting dust or something. All you do is smear it on like that. Takes a lot of it. And your end result is you're going to want the car to look black and patchy all over. So, what that does is that's filling in any texture of the paint. Because right now it has texture. You can't feel if the panel's flat or not. You can't see it because there's no reflection. However, the guide coat's going to show you everything. So this is a piece, just a piece of 180 I had. Uh, so you just take a little. So when you do that, you're not really applying a lot of pressure. 
to the block, you're letting the sandpaper do the work. You're not trying to make any dents. You're not trying to work any body work out on this particular surface. There isn't any body work to work out. All you're doing is knocking off the texture of the paint and, or primer and you're looking for you're looking to get the, the surface flat. So if you take a close up look is a solid gray color with no texture and no no little pits or anything like that solid flat to the touch that's what you're looking for that's when you know the surface is truly flat so you do that to the entire car it takes probably several hours or days and uh, you, you knock off 90% of the primer that you, that I sprayed on yesterday, most of it's coming off. You're going to be left with a little bit. I'm not trying to go all the way through to the old stuff, but we're trying to leave a new surface. So I might go up on the grit, maybe, maybe 220. Leave yourself with a new surface. Half of the material that you sprayed on is going to be gone, maybe more. So you're left with a little bit. Then you want to go again. I want to go again, 2K the car again and then go over it with a finer grit, 400, and then maybe 600 wet, and then you're ready for paint. Now this is, uh, you can probably get away with 320, um, 400 grit on a black, or no, I shouldn't say black, red, blue, solid color, non-metallic. On a metallic color like I'm going with, you're going to want to go with 600, because the, you will see those little pits and imperfections that were... I just showed you on the door. You will see those on a metallic paint job with 400 grit. So 600 grit, you want it smooth, but with just a little bit of grip for it so the base can stick and you're ready for color. So this is a pretty labor intensive operation, but I mean, you saw what I just did. It's a matter of a hand block and a piece of sandpaper. Uh, the block I use has some holes in the back kind of helps grip it that's that's really it there's not a whole lot to it I mean it's not like you know, I guess you can say it's a form of art but there's no real science behind it it's just blocking down the car uh, they have different size blocks I have some really long blocks up here short blocks with handles I have a box box full of blocks all different surfaces now whenever I go to 400 on this thing probably use a long block it's probably like two feet long or at least 18 inches maybe and uh, maybe foot long foot 18 inches the longer the block the better because you're knocking down more surface at a time making an overall level surface I have round blocks for this little edges here you're gonna want to round it and that's what gives you your overall mirror like finish is a flat surface uh, a lot of people think oh who painted your car? Who painted your car? Well, painting is the easy part. Hooking up a gun, spraying, color, and clear takes a couple hours. It's the hundreds of hours before the actual paint is sprayed that defines a, a show quality paint job. And by show quality, I mean I'm not talking, you know, the Riddler. I'm talking about something you can do at home on a budget and do yourself. Uh, you know, like I say, I don't do this for a living, but I've painted, you know, this is going to be my third one. I've painted some other parts for people, small stuff, bumpers, uh, stuff like that, just some toolboxes, I've painted stuff like that. So I have a general understanding. I don't do this for a living, but I do do it often. So just a little bit of advice, but that's what you call guide coat and blocking down. So we got to do this the whole car, we're going to do it once, we're going to prime it, we're going to do it two more times before it's even ready for paint, and that's just the show. We still have the fender, both fenders, we have the trunk, the hood, we have the roof, so it's a lot of work. Now if this was a, you know, a, a little hatchback for a teenage driver in high school, you know, there's no way I'm doing this for a car like that. 
you know, a car like that, a fifteen hundred dollar car that you just want a quick paint job, you know, you could probably get away with DA it with the machine and and then spray your clear uh, your color in your clear. You can get away with it in a car like that. On a car like this, you're gonna want to do the car justice, especially a car that's this solid. I got really lucky with this car, so I don't really want a half step. So, uh, you know, I don't care if it takes me six months to get this thing ready for paint. I'm in no rush, and I want it done right and to look nice. So, you can get away with the DA. But a guy told me, one of the guy, one of my friends who showed me how to do this stuff, he said that your hand, that the machine will never beat your hand. So uh, you can do it with a DA. It's not going to be near as flat. It's not going to look near as good as what you can do by hand. So, and that's true, and it's proved itself. So just a quick video. Stay tuned.